I um I don't know when it happened or how it started but at some point a little over a year ago I started to get what looks like a rash on my hand now I haven't gone out of my way for you to not see it in my videos but I've never truly just highlighted it so I'm gonna show it to you it's just I don't know what it is like it's a patch of dry skin like sometimes it itches and it gets really dry but when I get in the shower I exfoliate look at that it like just looks weird it's actually shaped like what's is that Africa I don't know I don't know my states I don't map but sometimes it itches and I scratch it uh, I've got cocoa butter uh, Asia got me this cocoa butter stick and it's pretty much gone now uh, I exfoliate it when I get out of the shower and sometimes I kind of scrub at it till it gets irritated it doesn't hurt there's no immediate pain or anything it's just I don't know sometimes I think it's eczema I'm not sure but the point is is that I need to get this checked out I've got a doctor's appointment on the 21st so I'm gonna have this checked out and it's important to me that I get it checked out because when I was a kid and when I say a kid I mean just many years ago my father had this lump on the side of his chest it was more like by the stomach area like right in here and we would always say hey man are you okay what is that and he called it his Pepsi bump because oh I drink too much Pepsi it's a Pepsi bump but that was really him just kind of sweeping it under the rug and not wanting to deal with it and I don't want to be that guy I don't know if the the lump attributed to his death or not I don't know if the two things were in any way related but it's the sort of thing that I always feel as though had he just been more conscious of what was going on with himself he may have lived a little longer like I don't want to be that guy it's like oh I'm fine I don't want to go to the hospital I'll, I'll be fine it's like I have pretty good insurance now when I get this job at regional transit I'm gonna have fucking great insurance so it's the kind of thing I want to get checked out and I want to make sure that I live a nice long life like just because I have no fear of death doesn't mean I'm ready to die you know there are still plenty of things that I want to do with my life and I can't do those things dead so I'm gonna let a doctor give me a full workup check me out like on the 21st like I got this appointment but I'm not expecting a whole lot I'll probably get some blood pressure medication because yeah my blood pressure is pretty damn high so I want to take care of that but after I get this job with regional transit and my insurance is like a one insurance like from what I hear this insurance is fantastic I'll go and I was like do do a blood work uh, oh excuse me wow I had a cheeseburger that's what that is like do a full blood workup you know check me out put me on a scale measure me do everything it's like tech I know I'm clinically obese I'm five foot eight I like to say I'm five nine but I'm really five eight I like to say that I'm 260 pounds I'm actually closer to 280 pounds these days I'm getting getting up there but I do want to take a little bit better care of myself and part of that will be going to a doctor and having them tell me what's wrong it's, it's a scary thought I'm still a ways away from it but I'm afraid of the, the time that will come where I am older than my father was that's creepy to me like I don't <sighs> parents shouldn't outlive their kids like that makes sense to me but I didn't think I'd lose him so soon so if I can do something that will ensure that I'm around a little bit longer for Kari and a little longer for any kids that Asia and I might have I want to do that that's important so once and for all we'll find out whatever the fuck this is just to get an understanding because I'm looking at it it looks bad like it looks like a hickey like oh you know what it looks like it looks like when you were a kid 
and you crawled around too much and your knees got all like dark that that's really what it looks like or it looks like my elbow you know like it's just darker it's weird i never really thought of that but i'm i'm thinking about it now so once and for all we'll find out what it is and we'll take care of it that aside it's been a long day i'm tired I'm very excited to go home and spend the evening with my family. Not excited about walking home in the rain because I hear it coming down again. And, oh, I just want to get home. Just want to relax. Just, I got a bag full of, like, gummy bears and gummy worms and a bag of chips. And I'll I'll probably bring my Gatorade home. It's like, I just want to go home and be with my family, you know. It's been a long, long, long day. And... You know what? Real quick. No, nope, I was I was going to tell you the story of the guy in the bathroom today. And he was trying to explain to me how I needed to let him use my bathroom. But I think that'll be a completely separate video. Because it was hilarious. But it also pissed me off. Maybe I won't even talk about it. I tried to avoid stories from work. <sighs> Every now and then one hits me and I have to share it with you. But... I will tell you this. This is the last thing, and then I'm going to get out of here. The um, Monday, I have to go and put in all this paperwork for regional transit. And then from there, I have to go and get my live scan, which is really just a fingerprint. And they go to make sure that, you know, I'm not a felon or anything. Now, the fun part is, is that I had to do that same thumbprint thing to get my guard card to get this job in the first place. And since I haven't had any legal issues since that, I'm fairly confident that, well, I'm 100% confident that you'll find nothing on my record and then we'll move forward with a job offer from Regional Transit. Once Regional Transit makes me a job offer and I sign some paperwork or they offer me a contract or I agree to whatever the, you know, the union's, you know, criteria are for employment, I am going to put in my notice at G4S. Oh, wow. Hey, that's the first time I've ever said the name of the company in a video. Wow. Huh. I'm going to put in my notice, but I'm going to do so in such a way that I'll have a solid week off before I start my new job. So it'll leave us in a bad way a little bit for a week or so, and it'll take me a minute to bounce back from that. But, But just a minute. You know, when I say a minute, I'm thinking, oh, in two weeks' time, everything will be fine. You know, um, what's funny is I get paid every week here. But when I when I make the switch over, I'll be getting paid every two weeks, which I wasn't really looking forward to because it was nice always having money in my account. And when I ran out, more just showed up like a week later. So it's going to be difficult transitioning from weekly to bi-weekly. But, and this just occurred to me, what's going to be great about this job is that honestly, even though I'm making more, I'm making more at the new job, I'll be getting paid less because while I'm here, I'm, st- I'm still pulling in 60, 65 hours a week. I get 25 hours of overtime every week at this job. At the new job, I'll only be getting 40 hours, but I'll average about $200 a week less. But also, I get three days off consecutively. So for four days of work, four days, 10 hours, I'll be bringing home a decent amount of money. I'll, I'm, I'll never discuss how much I make. I won't. It's just, it's just tacky. What will be great, though, is that one check from Regional Transit will cover my rent and all my bills for the month. Imagine that. In two weeks' time, I'll be able to pay my rent and my bills for the whole month. That leaves the second check in the month completely free for me to do whatever I want. And that'll be the time for me to start leasing a car. That'll be the time for me to start saving and doing more. Like, things have really, really been looking up. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so fucking excited about it. And I know it's because I'm stoic. My voice is always the same. It's really hard to gauge my response and how I'm feeling. But man, I'm so fucking hyped about this. This is a fantastic opportunity to get in with a really good company with a pension. I'll have a pension. Think about that. Like, wow. 
while most people are just trying to get like little little jobs or whatnot, you know, just to get by, little part time gigs. I'm talking about pensions and 401ks. That's amazing to me. But I got to get out of here. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm finished. Uh, party time with my family tonight. You might see some extra videos for me. You might not. But uh, I'm going to hang out with my fam. We're going to have a good time tonight.